my mother, she would stand with her clients, who she considered her friends, in front of the mirror and study their expressions. Not the fabric, not the dress, their faces. And only when they were happy, only when they smile, when they relax, her work was complete. Gianni Versace was a storyteller, and he chose fashion as his field of expression. He wanted people to feel empowered. He wanted people to send messages. I mean, there's nothing random about what we wear. Do you really think people will hear those words when they see your clothes? They won't. You're wrong. They will know. They won't know the details, of course, but they will feel those emotions because the clothes will make them feel them. Gianni Versace was a genius. He was a creative genius who had an, an incredible work ethic instilled by his mother. Her work ethic and his artistry created the brand of Versace. It was a very family-run empire. Versace's mother imbued him with a work ethic. When he was ridiculed at school for drawing a dress, she brings him into the studio to teach him how to sew. He combined the sort of practice of learning how to sew and started to be inspired even as a young kid to draw dresses. And when he came onto the fashion scene, he came on and put something totally new out there in the world and he became a huge success, a multinational brand, really. He made it fun and he made it sexy and he was unabashedly proud of life. I think in terms of the gay community, he was really one of the first people to acknowledge his sexuality and, and be open and public about it. He was a disruptor and I think that that's what made him so, so exciting. The mixture between style and money and sexuality and self-expression hadn't been seen before. It comes from here first, from here. And then you hire the photographers, and then you throw the parties, and then you ask celebrities to wear our clothes. But that comes second. What is amazing is that like, being such a genius uh, as he was, because I really think he was truly special, that Donatella was able to continue what he did on that level. What is Versace without you? It will be you. <laughs> the love between Donatella and Gianni was very real. They listened to each other. They really trusted each other's opinion. They had this very honest, strong relationship. I need this to be a family. I cannot do this if I'm not. The process of building a character that is based on a real person known by the public is more of a painting rather than a photograph. It is a big challenge because we all know Donatella Versace. We all know the way she moves, the way she speaks. There is videos, there is documentation from every decade. On top of that is somebody that I know and that I respect and admire very much. I didn't want to do an imitation of Donatella. I need to capture her essence. And this company was his life. When he was sad, it made him happy. When he was sick, it kept him alive and my brother is still alive as long as Versace is alive.